Minneapolis College session. So make sure you're in the correct meeting. This is for uh, Minneapolis College of Design. Um, so feel free to get started. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, I don't want to rush this, but I understand we're a little bit behind. So it's already an abridged version. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Minneapolis College of Art and Design. Uh, my name is Christopher Alde. I go by he, him, his. I'm a senior admissions counselor. <clears throat> I'm a transfer specialist. Uh, I'm an alumni of MCAD. Uh, I am also a current student because I am in their master's of uh, graphic and web design program right now. And I am a native of Southern California. So I moved a, from a gorgeous place to a very frigid area where my mom tells me they're having record highs. And today uh, we have a high of 22, which sometimes is warm. When my mom calls, I tell her it feels warm because it's warmer than zero. So 20 is a big difference. <laughs> uh, so it's my contact information. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. All right, so a little bit about MCAD. Uh, we are here to help students become professional artists, designers, pioneering thinkers, creative leaders, and engaged global citizens. Because you could do a lot. It's, it's hard to quantify what you can do with art because it can go into many different areas and it's not always in the area you studied because you learned a lot of things. Uh, quickly, a little bit about our accreditation. We are accredited through NASAD as well as NCA or Northern Central Association of College and Schools because that's important. We want your degree to hold its weight when you leave here. Uh, we are also members of the Association of Independent College of Art and Design, as well as the Minnesota Private College Council. So again, we have a lot of governing, governing bodies that audit us almost every two years to make sure our programs are up to par. All right, for the real meat and potatoes of this, we have 15 areas of study, and they go from the traditional drawing and painting, graphic design, sculpture, but also illustration, printmaking, um, product design, animation is a big one. We're one of the few colleges in the country that also uh, teach comic arts or sequential art. So if you're into uh, narrative storytelling, but not quite animation, you can follow that. We are also open for you to take classes as electives in anything else. Just because you're a furniture major does not mean you can't take animation or graphic design classes. We want you to be as well-rounded as you wanna be. We do have a handful of minors as well to round out that uh, sort of education if you are interested in them. Uh, it's helped some students. Creative writing has been a big one for those interested in writing proposals for their personal work, but also narratives for screenwriting, like scripts, uh, animations, mm, comic art. Another big one is entrepreneurship for those interested in, you know, becoming more of a business or have more business minded problem solving, because there are students who are really good at connecting art and business together because there are two different types of thinking and they don't always click. I'm a terrible business person, but I'm a great artist. So I need other students to help me with that, especially like selling things or connecting things or even learning how to promote things for other people. Uh, overview, we have 800 students at the absolute most. We're anywhere between 730 and 800, which means your, cl your classes are pretty small. 85% uh, of them are grad undergraduates, 50% graduates. Um, 30 to 40, uh, 30 to 40% are about uh, transfer students. And the transfer students come from all over the continental United States, the extended United States, uh, Canada, Republic of Korea, Mexico, Yemen, Vietnam. They come from everywhere. 64% uh, of students identify as female, 30 male, and 6% identify as non binary. Uh, student to faculty ratio right now is about 10 to 1. It'll change a little bit depending on the courses you're in. I myself was once in a class that only had four people in it, which was pretty amazing. Um, but that really depends on the smaller classes specific to your major. When you get to electives that's open to everybody, they cap at about 22. So classes like screen printing could have that maximum amount. Uh, all students are required to uh, complete one internship, whether it is regionally, nationally, internationally. Right now it's done virtually. Um, it's still necessary for you to connect with people outside and, you know, really help dive into what you want to do, whether it's learning how to work with others in a design firm or uh, work with uh, individual freelance artists to see how they organize their day-to-day, -day, generate work, sell their own work, that sort of thing. 
financial aid is available. You either need to submit the FAFSA or tell us you're not going to use it. Uh, we award aid to about 97% of all students on campus. So it's a good chunk. All right. So a little bit about our campus. It's open 24 hours to students. Uh, you can qualify for a personal studio. We have print shops, dark rooms, animation studios, sound studios. Um, right now with the pandemic, we are in a blended um, instruction where students are available to be instructed virtually online. But for those who choose to live on campus or live close enough to campus are still available to utilize the facilities. Uh, even though you have to sign up for it now, where before it was just kind of open-ended, you need to know where you're going to be for how long and then sort of clean up before you leave. But the facilities are still available for students to utilize if they're around. We do have a virtual tour that feels like a uh, Google Street View of our building. So if you want to take a screen cap of mcad.edu backslash virtual tour, you can check that out. Here are a few images of our dorms. They are apartment style. Some of them are carpeted, some of them are hardwood floor. There is a kitchen with a refrigerator, stove, no microwave, but there's a little eating area. Bedrooms sometimes aren't very clean. I think this one's like in between. Uh, some are cleaner, just like that. I don't know why that whale's in there. I've been trying to figure out how to get rid of it, but I can't, but it's still in the presentation. And there is a bathroom and everything because there it is, it's an essentially an apartment. So it'll be like your first apartment ever. Okay, a little bit about pre-college for students who are interested in getting a little bit more instruction while they're in high school. So this is available to sophomores to seniors. Uh, we usually have a summer session over the summer. It's two weeks at the end of July. We're not sure how it's gonna look yet. It was canceled last year. They're still waiting to declare something this year. There's some brief information. But if things are still running virtually, we do have uh, virtual portfolio preparation classes, as well as intro slash crash, crash courses, workshops, and studio intensives. Uh, these are all run through our continuing education department. So if you wanted to take a crash course into comics or animation, you can contact uh, MCAD continuing education or go into uh, MCAD.edu continuing education slash courses to see what they're offering. Uh, quickly to go into if you are interested in applying, uh, we uh, changed one thing. So for applying, we still need high school transcripts, any college transcripts you may have had, uh, letter of recommendation, statement of art, uh, personal statement, portfolio of artwork. But this year, and it seems like for the foreseeable future, um, test scores are optional. So if you have a test score that you're happy with, you can submit it. If you couldn't take a test, test no big deal. If you took a test and you don't like the score, you don't have to send that in either. It's up to you. What I don't know, I can't judge you on. We do have a deadline coming up uh, February 15th. So if you are interested in applying, getting your application in anytime before that would be a good idea. Uh, we do award scholarships. And uh, once you complete your application, you will hear an admissions decision and a scholarship decision within two weeks. So 14 business days, and you'll know whether you were admitted and what scholarship you will earn. The scholarships can vary anywhere between $13,000 to $20,000. And this merit scholarship is automatically renewed for up to four years as long as you maintain AC average or better. So if you get a $13,000 scholarship, that's a four year total of 52,000. If you get the 20,000, that's a four year total of uh, 80,000. And you will continue to get that even if you break in between a year. So say between your sophomore and junior year, you wanted a year off, you can still come back and continue to with the scholarship you were granted when you were first admitted. Uh, we do have a view book if you want one sent to you. It's a pretty cool book. You can go to mcad.edu backslash view book. If you want any more information, you can sign up here at mcad.edu request information. Again, I have been your host, Christopher Alday. He, him, his, Southern California, Los Angeles always, regardless of what state I'm living in. Um, we have a little bit of time, so if there are any questions, you can ask them aloud or, I guess, in chat. And as a bonus for hearing me speak in my monotone voice in a slightly quicker way, uh, it's a coupon code. So if you would like to apply, I don't want you to pay for it. I think having to pay for an application slash opinion is the dumbest thing in the world, so don't do it. Use that coupon code, and if you are applying to other schools, ask them for a coupon code. I really think they all have it. They just are very selective about it. But I really hate the idea that 
if you apply to like four schools, you almost spent the equivalent of your deposit. And I don't like that. That irritates me. So don't do it. Apply for free. Okay. Anything? Or did I speak too fast? I feel like I ran through that, but I wanted to make sure I stopped before 1130. Yeah, this was awesome information, Christopher. Thank you so much, especially the free application code. Like, I, I, no one has an excuse for not applying. Absolutely. So, <laughs> yeah, and th th there's no commitment. You could cancel at any time with zero penalty. Mm -hmm. I think it's really good, even if you just want an opinion from someone else. You can do that real quick. Does anybody have any questions? You can write them in the chat or you can just unmute yourself and ask. No, going once. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it as a parent of a senior coupons, who knew? I know that's great advice. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I love ending my presentations with that just because like, if you didn't know, I'm pretty sure they all have one. It's something that's built in that sometimes they only give out to selected students, but I want you to be able, I want every student to be able to get an opinion from as many people as possible so they have the strongest information for them to make their decision about their future. Mm -hmm. As much as I love art and I love MCAD, I did as a student, I love it as an employee. Uh, it's not for everybody. I just want you to be able to have the opportunity to look into everything because every school has a similar feel, similar instruction, but you know, they'll differ where you want to be in the country. Do you want to be in a place that snows sometimes? Uh, not everyone does. Some people do, but then they leave immediately. Like, <laughs> so the graduates like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Um, I didn't mind the snow. I kind of hate the uh, humidity in the summers because California is an arid desert. So being sweaty and like wet, even though I'm not doing anything, bothers me every year. But <laughs> I like the community here. Uh, Minneapolis is a big city that is very small. Like it, it, to me, Minneapolis feels like a suburb of Los Angeles, like it's Glendale. Mm. So it's not as big as the greater Los Angeles, uh, which meant it was really easy to get around. Like I don't, traffic here to me is non-existent. I feel like mm -hmm. on the slow gridlock, I'm still cruising at 30 miles per hour. And coming from Los Angeles, that yeah. is not gridlock at all uh awesome. yeah this has been awesome thank you so much christopher for great advice for general applications i think for me too i didn't know that there was such thing as a coupon which is huge um so yeah. we really appreciate your time and for visiting us here in el paso and so you guys have the information everyone should be applying this is an amazing opportunity thank you so much again christopher you're welcome thanks all for joining take care <laughs> have a great day thank you yeah bye, bye.